Hello everyone, my name is Rahul and welcome to my channel Rahul QA Labs. In today's tutorial, we will be learning how we can manage projects in Redmine Test Management Tool. So uh, projects forms an integral part and uh, as per the different requirements, uh, we need to track the progress of the project. So let's see how uh, we can create projects in Redmine. So these uh, are some of the operations that we can do on a project like adding or editing a project, closing a project. Uh, you can see the project list. You can archive a project. Uh, you can copy an existing project uh, and you can delete a project. OK, so uh, while you're creating a project, uh, these are some of the general settings that are available. So uh, you have to provide the name, description, identifier, uh, sub project uh, links and home page. So, uh, let's go to uh, Redmine and uh, try to create a project. Okay, so click on access Redmine and uh, I have already logged in. So as a tester, one, two, three. So on the left hand top side, you will find a link called the projects. So as soon as you click on uh, the project, so you will see all the project listed out here. As of now, we have only one project. So today we'll create a new project and we'll see how we can do that so suppose uh, we'll give it a name as um, you know test project 2 now the description so description uh, is uh, some points about what this project is about and uh, uh, what uh, are the timelines etc so some details related to your project you can provide it out here and this is the identifier so it has already uh, taken from the name it is automatically generated so if you want you can change that as well now uh, a home page means uh, uh, your project uh, if you ha it has a home page you can give uh, the url out here uh, next one is the checkbox for public so if you are selecting this uh, checkbox so public projects and their contents are openly available on the network but if you want this uh, project to be private and limited to this particular user so you can uncheck that so as of now i will select as public now uh, if your project is uh, a part or a sub part of any big project you can select uh, this option as well so suppose a uh, test project 2 is a part of uh, your test project 1 so you can select as a test project one and uh, so uh, suppose in project one you have already allocated some team members and you want uh, those uh, members to have the access of this project as well so you can just select this option as inherit members okay uh, coming to uh, the below one these are the modules so uh, these will be all the modules that will be present in this particular project so see um, issue tracking files gantt wiki time tracking news so all these options are present out here if you don't want any of the options to present here uh, you can uncheck that box okay so uh, let's try to uncheck uh, say news so i have unchecked the news now uh, we have filled all the details let's click on create okay so it says a green message that successful uh, creation has been done and uh, so these are all the settings uh, for the project you have uh, coming to one by one options uh, these are the members we don't have any members as of now you can uh, uh, click uh, and add a new member out here yeah so see we don't have uh, any members except the administrator so you can just click on add oh sorry you have to select the role uh, so a manager developer or a reporter so i'll select the role as a reporter uh, and i will click on add principal cannot be blank uh, okay i think i need to select one of the options here so non-members users and i'll click on add okay so it has added a user as a reporter and non-member user let's try to edit this user yeah so this is how uh, you can edit and if whatever changes you want to make you can just uh, 
click on here and suppose you want to make it as a developer so you just select it as a developer so these are the members similarly you can add more of them uh, next comes the issue tracking so uh, this uh, like uh, whatever uh, trackers you want in this particular project like uh, you want a bug you want a feature you want a support if you don't want this you can just uncheck that you can click on save button okay uh, next comes the versioning so uh, a versioning is like uh, if this is a version 1 project or if it's a version 2 so that depends uh, how it is being followed in your company if you want to maintain a version system you can uh, simply click on new version and you can give the name okay um, these are the issue categories so uh, what category uh, you want to assign um, the issues uh, from here you can create a new category uh, these are the repositories coming to next one so uh, as of now since a new project we have created we don't have much uh, options available out here so you can create a new uh, repository as well and this is the forums and time tracking so uh, how much time or uh, you know the uh, activity uh, in design and development you have spent so that will be uh, present in this project okay so uh, we have created a project successfully and uh, we don't have any of these uh, listed out in this project so this is how you can create a project and uh, if you go on top right uh, you can see both the options uh, like both the projects available okay so suppose I select all projects okay so see test project 1 and test project 2 so it's coming here because we have selected as a sub part of this project okay and if directly you want to go to test project 2 you can go like this test project 1 and this is the test project 2 that is a sub part of test project 1 so these are all the settings um, we will not be having anything as we don't uh, have any issues uh, listed out here in this project since it's a newly created project okay so uh, this is pretty much about how you can create a project uh, in redmine and uh, if you have any doubts you can just uh, comment and i'll be happy to help you uh, keep learning in life and thank you meet you in the next tutorial bye bye